If you deal with materials like this one, there is no need for you to watch this video. Flowability of certain powders, however, is sometimes so poor that extraction from silos with flow aids like fluidization pads, pneumatic hammers, hammer blasts, or air cannons is impossible. The bin activator is the ultimate flow aid and extracting device for such materials. To fit the bin activator, the silo cone has to be shorter than usual, leaving a wide outlet section. A flange supplied together with a bin activator is welded to the silo outlet on site. Special spring suspensions and a flanged polymer seal form a flexible connection between silo and activator. One or two electric vibrators fitted to the unit generate vibration of the bin activator every time the feeding device beneath the silo is started for material extraction. During operation, the bin activator makes a gyratory movement which is transmitted to the material inside the silo. The result is smooth material flow through the bin activator outlet into the connected feeder. BA type bin activators are available in nominal diameters ranging from 600 to 3000 millimeters. Feed rates range from 5 to 250 cubic meters per hour. Depending on the material handled, bin activators are made from carbon steel or different types of stainless steel. Among the numerous applications of bin activators, the following industries are probably most significant. Food and flour milling, glass processing, heavy-duty applications. The main advantages and innovative features of the BA-type bin activator are extremely low power requirement, extra long life of suspensions and seal, 70% less welds than in traditional bin activators, reinforced seamless seal made of WAM Group's unique engineering polymers Syntex or food grade Sintel. Seamless heavy duty activator cone. Series production and specially designed production machinery guarantee an outstanding price performance ratio. A quality dedicated production layout gives the client the assurance that the equipment he's going to use has been checked and tested in each phase of the manufacturing process up to the shipping department. Quick delivery is guaranteed thanks to a large amount of stock of components and parts at the factory in Italy and at the WAM Group subsidiaries worldwide. During the following part of this video, please pay attention to the special safety notices. On receipt of the consignment, check that the goods are in conformity with the invoice and with the acknowledgement of order. Handle all material with care. Remove the bin activator and its accessories from the packaging and from now on strictly follow the supplied instruction manual for handling, assembly and installation. Prior to assembly of the bin activator, weld the supplied flange to the silo cone and reinforce it as specified in the assembly and maintenance manual. Ensure level. Lift the bin activator into a position suitable for assembly. Fix the suspensions to the upper flange. Assemble the seal by fixing the loose counter flange to the silo flange. Ensure all nuts and bolts are tightly fastened. Connect the vibrator with the mains. Do not carry out longer running tests with the empty silo because the equipment is designed for bins or silos containing material. 
only use tested and certified hoisting, welding and fitting equipment and tools. The electrical connection with the main supply must be carried out by qualified personnel only. Before electrical connection, ensure the electric vibrator plate data and the voltage supply match. Ensure the outlet valve of the bin activator is closed. Now fill the bin or silo with material. Start the feeding device mounted beneath the bin activator. Open the outlet valve of the bin activator and start the vibrator. The vibration must remain on when the feeder is running. For maintenance regarding the seal or the suspensions, empty the silo and close the outlet valve. To replace the seal, remove the upper and lower counter flanges, pull out the old seal and introduce the new one. Reassemble the counter flanges making sure nuts and bolts are firmly tightened. Always replace suspensions only one at a time. Before any kind of repair or maintenance work, disconnect the electric vibrator from the mains. Do not operate the bin activator when the silo is empty. The BA bin activator cannot function in a standalone capacity. It is therefore prohibited to place it into service until the plant in which it is installed has been globally declared to conform with the requirements of the European General Safety Directive for Machines.